Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we've actually got our first modification for the carry. So, being six foot one, and this vehicle meant for people around about five foot, I have the issue of my knees and the steering wheel seem to collide. So, I've ordered a aftermarket boss kit, which was a oh, which was a little bit of a pain in the ass to find this but I ended up going with a Suzuki Grand Vitara from the same year as my truck hoped and prayed and wished and it fits so let's get it started then right first things first you may want to disconnect the battery because of the horn I've not done that in this case because I've already took it off Put a different aftermarket wheel on and then put this one back on just for video so this plastic cover there is no airbag behind this on the 996 so i basically just got a flathead screwdriver put it under popped it off but anything you touch here is the horn so that's why i recommend disconnecting batteries but uh, the battery when trying to pull it unless because you absolutely hate your neighbours. Second thing I found out is when it goes into steering lock like that your wheels aren't actually straight. So for the first bit to remove it I recommend putting it on steering lock. It takes a bit of effort to get the nut out and to loosen the steering but I found the best bet is just hammering around on the sides and then it comes off normally. And then what I said about the steering lock not making it straight, put your keys in. Of course I need the steering wheel to do it. Find where steering lock is, release your steering lock. So mine's a little bit over to one side. Now it's sort of semi straight. Take it off. Shut up beeping get your boss kit, find out which holes you need, just line it up like any other car, and that's dead centre, throw the nut on, steer lock it does sort of help and just tighten it don't ratchet down too hard on it just make sure it's tight and then you're done for the boss kit oh, all right that's a little bit more bouncing than the fall but I decided to order this from Driftworks the other night and it came in maybe like half an hour ago kind of loving this packing tape but I don't really want to ruin it but I need to get the wheel out alright, bit of foam that is for uh, my sticker collection going up on the top nice luscious free bag of Harry Bows and if you can guess what wheel I went with an Ardy, of course. So I know it's an Italian wheel on a Japanese truck. I'm not going to put that over there because it'll blow away. So, what particular Nardi did I actually bother going with? First time actually looking at it. Nice. 
Ah, classic wooden wheel. And a nice, nice finish in the centre as well. I love that. So, let's put it on the truck. Alright, what also came with the wheel is the horn and everything. I am so assuming the hardware is also in this box, which it is. And a sticker. Very nice. Alright. So let's get this thing mounted. Good thing I bought the socket set because I was assuming Allen keys. Alright, so these are 8mm. That is a lot tinier because I don't actually have a socket for 8mm of these little tinier ones. really don't want to scratch the face up on this. It looks way too beautiful for this. that over that connector so don't fucking go off again. Right, one of these have just gone in really easy which Alright. Let me just find a screwdriver which I can do these in. To line, I don't need a screwdriver. I found the socket adapter. So, yeah. No, it's gonna seem weird using a socket extension on it, but don't want to, don't want to hit the wooden wheel. Probably don't want to go too tight. Problem with socket adapters. All right, so that's the end of using using that socket. Now. Horn time. How does this even stay? Okay, it's pressure fit. Alright, back again. After sleuthing around, I was wrong. It does go on after the wheel. I thought it went underneath, and then we have this weird pressure fit ring. It's, to be honest, very loose. <laughs> But 
that is the steering wheel done. I, I actually did notice, compared to the stock, it doesn't lift it out as much, but compared to the stock, the diameter is a lot smaller. So, I'm happy with that. We should get a bit more wheel uh, knee clearance. I am thinking quick release for it, so this don't get stolen, maybe? I don't know. Plus, it'd just be nice to be able to take it inside of, and leave it off the truck. Or maybe a couple wheel spaces. Uh, yeah, I do kind of lose the uh, knee height that I had with a TR. Oh, yeah, I had a Toyota Race and Development steering wheel on this for a little bit. Insert video or photo here. So, yeah. The next little thing I've got for it, I know they don't fit because I've already tried, is a set of rims. So let's go to that. I just kind of want to see what it looks like with both on front and rear. So yeah, I hate to say this, but I absolutely fucking love knees. Why I say I hate to say this? These are the only two sets I've found in 13, in uh, no, in 12 inch. And the seller said knees were four by 100. I get back, test fit them on the rear because that's the only one I knew how to jack up until I found the owner's manual and turns out they're 4x1 of 4x101 which is technically mini fitment so they are out just by a little bit which is kind of annoying but fitment wise they look like they clear everything under the front they don't stick out stupid amount why oh also people ask oh why is it 4 by 100 not why it's not 4 by 114.5 or whatever it's because it's a 996 anything with the orange indicators of this year mean it's the change over year between the square headlights and the circle headlights so means I've got a wider choice of whatever rims I decide to put on it as well. Oh, look. They're not that bad. I know the front one's cambered in but that's due to how the suspension works on these. Once it's back down on the floor flat, 
that camber should sort itself out. Alright, the next l quick little mod is see you know that down there? That clip. Do you know what that's for? It's used for one of these. A road flare. Well, oddly enough, when they get exported, they actually get gutted, so there is no flare. But, found another use for it. A little stack stash. Another mod done. When, when I got the truck, it also actually came with this hidden in the glove box. All disconnected, like all the wires were just in a bundle and whatever. So I decided to reconnect the toll card reader. And you probably heard it once or twice when I was doing the steering wheel. I thought, you know what? It doesn't fit very well in the glove box with the fire extinguisher. So here it is out in the open now, which is quite nice. Also installed a cigarette lighter port because for some strange reason being a 90s Japanese truck it doesn't come with one and had my dash cam hardwired in as well which was quite nice. Maybe a bit rattly audio or whatever, but what do I think about the steering wheel? Well, driving it around, just currently at the moment, it's a hell of a lot nicer than the stock steering wheel. Got a nicer feel, nicer texture to it. Doesn't really, eh, stock one slides in your hands, but this one you get a bit more grip to it, which is actually, be honest quite nice. Uh, it being a bit small I still I still can get my knees out sideways which is nice. And I have no issues with pedals. Uh, horn <coughs> works functionally. Oh, horn it works which is quite nice. The uh, TRD one, for some strange reason, you would have to really, really push down on it. And I also found myself with the TRD one, holding it like this, driving it more in the centre, which, to be honest, is probably quite bad and would break your fingers or break your thumbs if anything happens. But this one, I actually prefer to grab it on the wheel itself. I think it may just do be due to the TRD's Wade. These roads are fucking atrocious. <laughs> it may be due to the TRD suede which made my hands itch sort of. So the wooden one is definitely a hell of a much uh, a hell of a better choice than what I had on it. But I do think I am gonna get the quick quick release for it. 